The Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition for Wednesday, the 21st of December. I'm James Spann. A warming trend in the days ahead. Maybe a few showers over the Christmas weekend. The better chance will be over the northern quarter of the state. Let's go in and talk about things today. This is the water vapor satellite view. The pattern is changing. The mechanism that's been delivering the cold air shutting down for a while. And by the time we get to Christmas Day, we could be close to 70. There's the uh, visible satellite view, and you can see the morning fog is gone. We've got some leftover clouds this afternoon. For most places, the sky partially sunny. And temperatures are warmer today. Back in the 50s, Anniston 59, Birmingham 57, Tuscaloosa 55. We'll see highs uh, around 60 tomorrow and Friday with a partly sunny sky both days. And again, uh, for now, the really cold Arctic air has been flushed out of the United States. Great news for our pals up north where they've been really suffering with brutally cold air for the past two weeks. There's the watch warning map. Things are relatively quiet. Some wind advisories well to the north and west of here. This is the day five convective outlook for Christmas Day. You know, we had severe weather here last year on Christmas Day. Well, this year, the possibility exists for parts of Oklahoma, Kansas, and far western Arkansas with a fairly dynamic storm system. But the good news, there is no chance of severe weather in Alabama this year on Christmas Day. This is the rain for the next seven days, valid through Wednesday evening of next week. And the bigger numbers are near the Tennessee border. In fact, around the shoals, they could receive two inches of rain, but the amount's much lighter as you work your, day, work your way down to the south. That's fairly tight gradient over North Alabama. And the really big numbers over Tennessee, North Mississippi, and Arkansas. All right, model fans, here we go. The GFS, the 12Z run, valid tomorrow at noon. A zonal flow. The sky partly sunny. The high around 60 in most spots tomorrow. And pretty much the same thing on Friday. Uh, the high will be close to 60. The sky partially sunny. There's no chance of rain. Christmas Eve, Saturday, December 24th. And you can see rain developing mainly over the northern quarter of the state. I uh, will mention just the chance of a shower here during the day, but obviously the better coverage will be uh, for places like Huntsville, the Shoals, and Scottsboro. And Christmas Day, Sunday, December 25th. Uh, and again, for us, could there be a shower? Yes. Will it be very mild? Yes. Uh, the GFS printing a high of 70. Uh, you know, last year we had the warmest Christmas on record at 77. Uh, so 70 this year. A lot of clouds around, but the big issues are well to the north and west of here. A sub-1,000 millibar low, it's over Nebraska. Heavy snow, maybe blizzard conditions north and west of that low for parts of North Dakota, Wyoming, South Dakota, and south and east of the surface low, the chance of strong to severe storms over Kansas and Oklahoma maybe parts of Missouri and Arkansas. So very active weather for the nation's heartland on Christmas Day. Monday, that deep surface low moves up into Canada. The trailing cold front comes down through Little Rock. And again, we'll have a chance of showers on Monday. But the main dynamic support moving away from us because of ridging over Florida. And Tuesday, the front stalls out just north of here. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. We need a lot of rain, a lot of rain to get out of this drought. And uh, that will suggest a fairly decent coverage of showers on uh, Tuesday. And a week from today, Wednesday the 28th, big 588 upper high over the Gulf. Down below that, the front is dissipated. That looks dry. And highs would be in the low 60s, a little above average for this time of the year. We'll go out to Thursday of next week, the following day. A pretty good-looking cold front comes in here with a pretty good shot of colder air behind it. That would suggest a good chance of rain, maybe some thunder. And this is the end of the forecast period. This is Saturday the 31st. Uh, trough rotating away from us, and again, that looks uh, kind of cold and dry, if this were to verify, for New Year's Eve. Check the numbers, and you can see the warmest day of the next 15 days will likely be on Christmas Day. The uh, GFS suggesting a high of 70. Colder air toward the New Year's weekend, with highs dropping back in the low 50s. But again, right now, the gates to the Yukon are closed, so no bitterly cold air doing here anytime soon. But winter is just beginning. The solstice was this morning at 444 Central Time. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can, catch us this evening on the live stream or on television. ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless.